to batching that render off to a CPU farm that will produce maybe an image at, from one view or another view. We've loaded the iRay plugin, and Alex can render with the iRay plugin and bring up the rendered view, and now interact with that. Now you'll see as Alex moves, you'll see on the on the rendered side how it, it goes from kind of fuzzy to real. That's the ray tracing working. Um, so uh, ray tracing is going to color each pixel as it hits this object. And as once it's static, once it knows where the lights are, it'll find it. But as you move it, it's constantly recalculating how the light is bouncing off of these objects. A couple more rotations, Alex. So actually, what Alex is, is pulling up right now actually is the, the iRay palette of materials. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll change materials here. Let's say you don't like, you don't like that one. Um, I, I like this one. So if we can show that one to them, Alex. We're going we're gonna, to, he's basically going to reassign all the materials <coughs> to this drill. Um, Click the render, and now we've got the, the, the black and the gray, and let's go ahead and interact with that. Um, so again, this process before might have taken hours. In some companies, it might have taken days, because you give your model to somebody who renders it, and you get it back, and you decide you want to see a different view, and so you ask for another render. Now the designer, in one workflow, can look at the model in any way, Let's go ahead and render that again, Alex. Uh, no, just, 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 I'm sorry, just uh, rotate it, sorry. There you go. So, um, if he decides, if the designer decides that he doesn't like this front area, um, he wants a different area, go ahead and pull up the, um, the palette. Part of what our iRay plugins provide are a set of materials. Uh, verified materials. So I can go ahead and change the, the grip texture to uh, a rubber, to a plastic. I can make it shiny. I can make it matte. I can make this reflective. All of those things now are, are interactive with the iRay product. And so it's a very, um, you know, we, we've been working with a lot of designers, and this has been in beta for, for about 3,000 users. And it's really revolutionized what they've done to be able to go from kind of the standard design, handing it off to somebody to get the finished product into something where you were able to, I may not buy that one, but it's certainly pretty and shiny. <laughs> uh, but you've got the ability to change materials, change logos uh, on the fly. So 